Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we will be reading from True Off My Chest. Our first post is by Throwaway. Today I returned the engagement ring I bought for a refund. I was going to propose to my ex-girlfriend. She was definitely the one and once I realized that I wanted to be married to her. But she broke up with me. Today was the last day where I could return the ring for a full refund. I went to the store as soon as it opened because I didn't want to do it in front of a store full of people. And I was really glad that the employee wasn't the one who sold me the ring, because it was embarrassing enough having to return it. I'm having a hard time dealing with this because I still love her and I want to marry her, but she doesn't want me anymore. She left me because I have ADHD. We finished university in December and moved in together after we graduated. I never expected anyone to hold my hand, but before I went to university my parents always helped me. In university I lived with my brother who is one year older than me. My parents said he had to go to university and be my dorm mate so they would pay for him. My ex-girlfriend said that once we lived together she realized my ADHD was ruining our relationship, and she got tired of having to do everything. I don't even know what she meant by that. Normally I would talk to my brother about this, but he moved to another province and is arguing with my parents, and I'm sort of caught in the middle. My brother got into master's program and got a grant so my parents don't need to pay for any of it, and ever since he got accepted he refuses to talk to my parents. I don't know why. I'm caught in the middle since now he's completely avoiding me too. None of my friends have ADHD, so they don't get it. I know that if someone can't accept me for who I am I shouldn't want to be with them but I still do love her even though she disappeared from my life. Our next post is by Deleted. I screwed up my marriage. I, 33M, screwed up the marriage with my wife, 32F. My wife and I share our main friend group. I haven't had anybody to tell this to, and I really need to. About two years ago, I started therapy for the first time since I was a kid. Specifically, I have had a lot of trouble actually feeling my feelings and not dissociating whenever I felt a strong feeling. About six months after that, I had a full-blown crisis. Since my wife and I have been together since we were kids, 18 and 19. During this crisis, I started really questioning, do I actually love this woman? Am I happy in this relationship? Is this what I want? I came to the conclusion at that time that I frankly didn't know. The real screw-up was telling her during a marriage counseling session, and not keeping this uncertainty to myself. I have since then come to the conclusion that this is the life I want, and that I do love this woman. However, my wife has bad anxiety, ever since that day. No matter how many times I now tell her that I love her and that I want this, no matter how many little projects I do around the house for us, no matter how many flowers I buy or romantic little trips I plan and execute for us, she believes I'm on the doorstep of leaving. If I ever have any annoyance or frustration, not even at her, but just in general, she breaks down, saying that I'm going to leave because this life isn't perfect so I must not want it. If I'm ever sad or just melancholy, same thing, I've had some huge screw-ups in my life, like massive ones, but I regret those 10 minutes of honesty more than anything I've ever said or done. Sometimes it's 1000% better to say a small white lie while you're figuring crap out. Edit. Thank you everyone for the all the words of wisdom, guidance, and kindness. I'm not quite sure what to say to everyone or how to respond, but thank you for listening and sharing your experiences and perspectives. Our next post is by Throwaway. I want to leave my boyfriend of eight years because of no proposal, but my friends and family are calling me selfish and are threatening to tell him I'm 29. My boyfriend is 30, and there are no children involved. A bit of backstory. We met in high school but weren't friends. I was getting bullied and was unattractive. He was part of the popular crowd and was friends with some of my bullies. We reconnected again in college when I was doing much better and was actually attractive, and got together a little after that. It was a sore spot in our relationship at first, but I worked through the insecurities I had and he supported me. He's my first for everything, I'm not his first for anything. My boyfriend Ryan and I have been together for eight years now. But I want to leave because I feel like he'll never propose to me. Our relationship was great at first. Despite my insecurities, we went to couples therapy my request. And that helped a lot. We went on frequent dates, studied together in college when we could, shared interests lots of intimacy, always on the same page. 
we rarely ever fought, and I was sure I was the luckiest girl alive for not having to go through the date and breakup chapter of life. I thought he was going to be my first and only, but I'm obviously having second thoughts now. Around the four-year mark one was ready to get engaged to him. We talked about marriage briefly over this time, but nothing crazy since we were still getting on our feet and this was my first relationship. He still wasn't really ready to be tied down yet, in his own words. He has a mixed group of five friends including himself, guys and girls. The youngest being Emma who's 24 and the oldest being Carter who's 32. They're all friends from work, and yes, I'm a little insecure about Emma. She's the fun bubbly blonde while I'm not. Emma also does not like me, and has texted my boyfriend about it. I saw the notification clear as day unintentionally when he left his phone out, and never confronted him about it. I'm in therapy for my self-esteem and communication, and it's much better than it used to be. After a few more years of this and watching all my friends get married, I started talking to my best friend Mary about wanting to be engaged. She told me it'll happen when it does and not to worry. My mom and sister said the same thing. It stung when my sister just told me to wait, because she was engaged and married within a year to her boyfriend. I started getting a little resentful but tried to keep my head up and let things just play out. I brought up marriage more often, even the thought of kids, and he would always just shut down. He'd be grumbling and lock himself in our room if he didn't go out. I'm just over it. I think I'm falling out of love with him and just want to be loved for real. I feel like I wasted my 20s. I could have been married by now. Marriage isn't the only thing on my mind, but it is a major one. Ryan just doesn't seem to treat me the way my friends' husbands treat them. I noticed it as we got deeper and deeper. But I chose to ignore it since I was still new to all of this. I told Mary this, and she told the other two girls in our group. She also told my sister, who told the rest of my family. I'm getting tons of texts and calls from my aunts and sister, especially telling me not to leave such a great guy over something so small. But it isn't small to me. They're all already married, so it doesn't matter to them, but it matters to me. Marriage was a goal in my life. They're all calling me selfish, threatening to tell Ryan, and my sister is even saying that I must be cheating to want to leave so close to the finish line, which couldn't be further from the truth. Plus, what finish line? I don't see a proposal happening anytime soon, and at this point I don't even want it. Ryan is out with his friends again at a bar, and I just feel so ugly and worthless again. I feel pathetic for being 29, not married, crying, and not making my relationship work. Mary broke my trust too by telling people, and it's messing with my head. I just want to be married to a guy that loves me. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.